What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Neo and they have had some pretty great announcements over the last day or two. Uh, we're going to be going over their new distribution chain in Europe. They had a couple of crash tests that went incredibly well and we're going to go over one of Neo's new updates that they have recently added to their cars, which is actually pretty amazing. They have some autonomous driving capabilities in this update. So make sure you stick around so you get to see all of the different updates that I have for you for NEO stocks. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks and learn about a couple of new ones. So if we go over and take a look at the chart of NEO, we've seen somewhat of a consolidation period after uh, its massive run-up into the Neo Day event. So we saw it go from the low $44 range all the way up into the 60s. Now, at the current time, Neo only needs to go up about another 5-ish percent, uh, maybe between 5 and 10% in order to break all-time highs, and then we will get into some uncharted territory. Hopefully, we can break above these levels very soon and stay there. Neo had a pretty strong day today, going up about 2.13%, and after hours, it is sitting at positive 2.45%. So Neo's having a pretty great day. Uh, now let's take a look at the piece of news that was the main driving factor in why Neo uh, went up a lot today. Now this news uh, came out a little bit of a while ago, but is now being recirculated. So this is going to be Neo's European expansion. If we come over to this article, we can see that rumored to be coming to Europe in 2021. Uh, these analysts say it will be interesting to see how it competes against an abundance of German SUVs that are entering an increasingly crowded segment too. The entry cost of 55,000 US dollars is competitive. The 100 kilowatt hour version of the ES6 has an NEDC range of about 380 miles. Now, NEO has also come out with the 150 kilowatt hour battery, which is going to have a range of 1,000 kilometers and about 650 miles. The European market for electric vehicles has been growing a lot over the past couple of years. If we go over and take a look at this article, we can see that Europe superseded China as the global driver of electric car sales in 2020 for the first time in five years, as total electric vehicle sales jumped 43% despite the crisis hitting overall car sales, according to data from evvolumes.com. So if NEO is able to get into the European market and siphon away some of the market share that already exists, their delivery numbers in total will go up a lot more and we could see some massive revenue growth coming from neo in the next couple of years once they uh penetrate this uh european market Something else that came out about NEO recently is that their EC6 model scored very high in China's most watched crash test. So if we come down, we can see that in the crash test conducted by the China Insur uh, Insurance Research Institute of Automobile Technology, the NEO EC6 scored G in the Occupant Safety Index, pedestri Pedestrian Safety Index, and Vehicle Assistant Safety Index. And now that is the highest score in the Institute's evaluation criteria. Now, this is kind of uh, comparable to what NEO had said about its autonomous driving technology that it is going to be releasing very soon. They built it on a concept of safety redundancies. So the car is so safe that when the regulators go to look at these vehicles and approve them to be on the market, they're going to have no choice but to vote yes and allow these vehicles and the software to be on the roads. Neo has also released a brand new software update for its vehicles. We can see that Neo releases Neo OS 2.9.0 version, which can realize autonomic automatic parking and other functions. So basically, we can see uh, the new version adds adds functions such as visual fusion, fully automatic parking, which Tesla already has, vehicle short distance call, and app remote control FOTA upgrade. So if we come down a little bit more, we can see that in in addition the vehicle can also achieve close call. It is understood that the vehicle short distance call function can control the vehicle to move forward and backward in a straight line in a direction of the body toward or forward 
uh, uh, through the forward or reverse button in the Neo app interface. So basically, you control the Neo car uh, with your phone, which is very interesting. Now, uh, if we come down a little bit further, when the distance between the vehicle and the in the surrounding obstacles is not less than about 30 cm, speed of about one kilometer an hour for a certain distance. If the front wheel of the vehicle is not aligned, it will try to return to the alignment automatically. When the button is released or the risk of collision is detected on the route, the vehicle will stop moving. You can also pull the door or lock the screen of the phone to stop the vehicle at any time. So this is some pretty advanced software that Neo is coming out uh, to put in its vehicles, which is a good sign long term that they are able to put such new and uh, advanced technology in their cars. It's going to be interesting to see what Neo's delivery numbers are going to be for the month of January 2021. Now, if we compare the date that their quarter end uh, 2020, their December numbers and their year end numbers were released uh, to what we are projecting for the January numbers to be released on, uh, it seems like Neo is going to be releasing uh, these delivery numbers within the first week of February. Now, if we take a look at the Neo options chain, there is a lot of bullish sentiment. If we come down and look at the open interest, there's some pretty high unusual open interest on the 60s, but these are pretty close to the money. Uh, and especially with a volatile stock like Neo, these could easily shoot in the money within a day's time. Uh, we also see an unusual usually high open interest of 25,473 on the $65 strike for February 19th, 2021. Uh, the open interest, as I've gone over before, is basically the amount of contracts being held in people's brokerage accounts at the current time. And if we go over here, we can take a look at the volume. The 75s had a very unusually high amount of volume today. That means 11,345 contracts were bought and sold in a given day. And we can see that as we go down along the options chain, that these 70s and 80s also have an unusually high open interest. The 80s actually have about $2.4 million dollars betting that neo will go to 80 dollars by february 19th now neo doesn't actually have to get to 80 dollars in order for these contracts to profit if neo gets to 65 or 70 uh in the next couple of weeks these contracts will go up a lot in value and people will be able to flip these contracts for a profit so neo doesn't actually have to get to 80 but as we've seen in my other videos about palantir when we do this same options chain analysis it is very possible that the price goes through these targets. So we saw a very high open interest when we look at Palantir on the 30s and the 35s. And we saw Palantir absolutely crush uh, those estimates before and after demo day, but recently had a pullback. So I might be looking to get into these 80s uh, or 70s very soon uh, just to play maybe a run up on Neo. We did see a consolidation uh, over the past couple of days. It kind of was pinned in a range, and I think we could see Neo break out above highs after their delivery numbers are announced. Now, at the current time, there were a couple of analyst projections on what these delivery numbers would be. They're coming in at about 8,000 vehicles delivered versus the 7,000 vehicles delivered in. December. So if they can show uh, a massive revenue growth and beat the analysts already high expectations, Neo is going to go absolutely crazy after these numbers are released. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this one, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me get this information out to as many people as possible. You get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options that I am trading. So I hope you guys had a really profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next video.